Habitat Heroes empowers and educates children about social and environmental issues in a fun game format. There are two sides to Habitat Heroes, the virtual world and the school safari. The school safari is topic driven. Within each topic, there are games, quiz questions, educational materials, including videos, action plans, as well as games. Under educational material, you can find teacher's notes, which show you how to integrate the games into the classroom setting. There are fact sheets. There are also videos where children are actually interviewing experts about the various topics as well as lesson plans and action plans which show children how to be proactive. The activity sheets can either be used in the classroom or as take-home activities. They vary from finder words to experiments and colouring in sheets. When you click on quiz questions, you get a rotation of five questions which stem from a set of approximately 30 to 50 questions on each topic which can be downloaded from the educational materials section of the site so you can hand the same quiz to the students as a physical copy. The A, B, C and D rotate each time so that students need to know the actual answers. If a student gets the answer wrong they will have enough time to see what the correct answer is. When you enter the virtual world, the learning experience starts from the get-go. Students get to select from 14 different endangered species to be. They can click on each of the animals and get information about each animal, which may help in deciding which avatar they would like to be. Welcome to the waterhole. This is a landing page where you enter the virtual world. Before I take you on a tour of the virtual world, I would like to introduce you to the panel at the bottom. Firstly, you will see your avatar, which is the endangered species you selected upon signing in with its name. In this picture, you can see my West Indian manatee named Happy Feet. The text icon is where you select canned text to communicate with others. If you selected free type, you will also be able to type freely in the text box, which is the white area of the screen. Those who selected safe chat will not be able to see anyone's free type messages. We have also built in foul language monitors. Emotions are fun, smiley, sad and funny faces you can post for others to see. The virtual currency here at Habitat Heroes is called Creature Cash. When you play games, do quiz questions and look at the fun facts, you earn creature cash, which you can then spend at the Zoo Bazaar, which I will show you later. The inventory items you see on this screen are those that have been purchased. You can invite other members to be your buddies in Habitat Heroes World. You can send them private messages, hero mail, and also send them gifts. Not only this, but you can also view your buddy's habitats and move the items around, although they will go back into the original position once you're done. Currently, you can buddy gift a buddy trophy, some block, as well as a tree sapling. When the, your buddy receives a tree sapling, they can plant it and see it in the Friendship Forest. The Friendship Forest is located off the Zoo Bazaar. Each avatar has its own habitat. The habitat resembles that of the actual endangered species. For instance, if you have an arctic animal, you'll have an arctic habitat like the one in the picture. You may place all the items that you purchase at the zoo bazaar in your habitat. There are two ways to move around the virtual world. The first is using the map function. You see the virtual world is driven by region and you can jump from country to country or region to region by using the map and clicking on the icons. The other alternative is to click around the screen and go use the arrows to go from country to country. Currently we have the Middle East, India, China, Australia, Arctic, America, the Amazon as well as Africa. In each of these areas you have the same games from the school safari as well as the quiz questions and there are also avatars on the screen that you can click on to get extra quiz questions. 
When you click on a landmark, you can earn extra creature cash by looking at the fun facts associated with that region. The Chow House is the healthy eating area which is off the waterhole. In this region, members can make up fruit shakes, sushi, cereal, as well as veggies. They can also drink from the water tap. In the salad bar, members select from different vegetables to make up a salad. In the sushi bar, members select from different fish and rice to make up a sushi plate. At the cereal bar, members select from various healthy cereals and granolas. And at the fruit stand, members select from various fruit to make up a fresh shake. As mentioned previously, the Zoo Bazaar is where you buy all the items for your habitat as well as clothing for your avatar to wear. There is even a changing room for your avatar to try on potential purchases. The Home Store is a catalogue made up of items which you can purchase for your habitat. There are a mixture of environmentally friendly items as well as fun items to purchase. Habitat Heroes takes a light approach to educating children about social and environmental issues. There is a lot of subliminal learning on the website as well as a lot of fun facts and educational material throughout the site. In between each game there are fun facts about the topic and integrated into each region you would have seen flags as well as native animals and plants of the region. This is the same in our games. We have taken serious topics and made them fun. We've integrated bright fun designs in our games and our graphics in order to make these difficult topics fun and non-threatening. We cover various topics from climate change to recycling, to biodiversity, to animal extinction, and find fun ways to present those topics in a way that children can relate to. Our games vary from problem solving to literacy and hand-eye coordination. Children learn all about geography, social and environmental issues, social skills, problem solving, and cultures all around the world. The games reflect everyday life decisions. There is a lot of habit forming learning and we try to highlight small things that individuals do that can make a difference. At the beginning of a lot of the games, you will see comic strips, which are ways for us to educate children about the various topics. The underlying theme of Habitat Heroes is to educate children and empower them with the knowledge and the understanding that they can make a difference no matter what area they are interested in and no matter what way they, can, they are good at expressing themselves.